Hello everyone, I'm Renato de Castro and this is Smart City Trends. So, today I'm here in Madrid in a very interesting event. Actually, it's my first time in this world, it's quite new for me. And I have started listening about a, a very, well, disruptive concept of smart web. Basically, web, as web is, is digital, it was supposed to be smart, but what they are doing here now is trying to rebuild the concept of the web like we do in smart cities when we do a master plan to change the city, to make the city more livable and whatever solve the problems, what they are doing now is a master plan for the whole web. So I'm here uh, with two, well, big guys in this, in this world, Robbie and, and, and Toby, and they will explain to us a little bit about this. So yeah, what is smart web and why, why it's disruptive and how it will be connected to us in smart cities. Great to meet you. Many thanks for your time. Just to provide a little bit of context, um, I uh, am the CEO of a company called Minds Machines, MMX, and we're a registry. And what that means is we own these top level domains. We own and or operate top level domains. So think of whole new universes that are independent, currently set up as independent universes. Now, we think for anything to be relevant in the world, we need to be connecting different universes. And as a registry, we, uh, we have a duty to applaud, to recognize and support true entrepreneurialism when it has real vision. And, uh, and over the months of talking with Digital Town, uh, we have seen a vision and a perspective of be be being able to create a single platform that creates uh, connectivity and real relevance to citizens and cities. And, uh, and it, it is our role, you know, we're really pleased to be supporting this. For a normal person like me, I, I just understand dot .com, right? Or dot .com.br, dot, dot, dot I'm Brazilian. Yeah. But there is another word behind this, right? If yeah. I'm a lawyer, for example, now I can, I can be like Renato de Castro law or something like this, yeah. right? Just, just, to, just, work? just to give some context, originally when the internet was formed, there are literally 12 extensions, which are the ones that people know today. Dot com being the, the sort of the mother uh, of, of, the, uh, of, of the original family of uh, extensions. And then soon after that, it came around about 200 country codes. So dot br, dot uk, dot de. And uh, approximately five years, seven years ago now actually, going back in time, the governing body of the internet, ICANN, which is the event we're at today, I really wanted to create uh, far more greater relevance of, uh, of domain names to give them real meaning, uh, to break down that sort of dot com monopoly, and allowed organizations such as ourselves to apply literally for any name that uh, we felt there could be uh, opportunity and sense to own. So, as a result of that, up to effectively a thousand new extensions have been created or licensed. And this is uh, have room, have where they have words with real sense, real meaning, like dot law, like dot fashion, like dot wedding, dot London, and and uh, we are in the infancy of, of the very early stages of these new domains coming uh, mainstream. I mean, most part of the world is still analogic, right? And it just makes sense for someone to come online with a dot representing me. If I have a platform that can 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 make it happen, right? I mean, I if I'm business, for example, I just go online. If I have a platform to go online, otherwise it's not just be here. I'm here online. So and that now it's the role of digital town in, in, in this partnership, right? I mean, you are trying to 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 give format right. or to something that you are giving sense now, right? Yeah. So the first step was creating sense, okay. and what we will see how the web will evolve over the next five years are uh, areas of the web where people intuitively know where to go to because they're into a certain, because they may be a lawyer, they may be an accountant, they may be uh, into, into fashion. So we know that's the line of travel of how the web will evolve over the next five to 15 years. But there needs to be an underlying platform that it makes it much easier for individuals to travel. And particularly um, cities are a great example of where somebody actually identifies with, 
communities identify with it. There's governing bodies relating to those areas. And, and they all have visions and needs of the future. And when we look at the word smart cities, really, what, what are we talking about? We're talking about greater efficiency, greater relevance. And uh, we think there is a, a fantastic role for the web, the internet, to play an instrumental part of that. And in particular, the domain address convention. And, and that's when uh, the plans that, uh, and the vision the digital town has been developing with some of the, the smartest brains of uh, the uh, technology industry, um, when, when we heard about this, it's something that absolutely we want uh, to get behind and be seen to be supporting. So you give sense, and now you make someone beautiful to, to come inside this world, right? I mean, yeah. I want to be online, but I want to look, look cool, look nice, right? Well, it's really a tremendously exciting time. It may be the most exciting uh, phase of the internet. The internet started out as very much a grassroots initiative. It really wasn't designed from the ground up. And even in the arrival of these new domain extensions, it wasn't a great thought to architect. If you think about how cities work, you know that Second Street follows First Street, and Third Street's after Second Street. Uh, it's intuitive. Uh, city planners in many cities have done a fantastic job of architecting cities in the physical plane. Uh, in the digital plane, on the other hand, we have chaos. Uh, we have chaos both from the per perspective of the addressing system, but also from the standpoint of how we engage with the digital economy. And so what Digital Town is doing is really approaching this from the perspective of uh, two parts. Uh, a smart web to make the web intuitive so that the addressing schema makes intuitive sense. And from a self-identity schema from the standpoint of creating a frictionless way to engage with the internet using a single sign-on that allows the web to be personalized, intuitive, and secure. So whether you're going to a restaurant that is powered by a smart menu, or whether you're going to a retailer that is powered by a smart shop, the ability for you as a retailer or you as a restaurant operator to set up your online presence in a matter of minutes and be able to immediately be engaging in transactions, while at the same time creating a framework where the consumers of the world can see the world through local eyes as they arrive in a city of their choice and be able to engage with the same set of workflows that they came to know in the city where they reside. And I think if we don't do this in some systematic manner, the industry that is emerging around the internet is going to be dominated by global monoliths, Expedia, Amazon, Uber, uh, OpenTable. We all know the list. So for small to medium-sized enterprise, this is a game changer. This is the ability for small to medium enterprise to be able to compete on a level playing field with the largest monoliths by banding together in, in the form of this shared platform uh, that allows the consumer to have the efficiency that they already know from the various platforms that they're already using, but be able to deal directly with the business rather than going through an intermediary. And a lot of people don't know that an Expedia may charge a commission of as high as 40% and pay their merchant 60 days after the transaction has occurred. Or that an open table can charge as much as nine dollars a cover, table of four, thirty-six dollars. Um, Uber started out as a flat five percent commission. It's now a dollar eighty off the top, and then thirty percent commission of whatever's left. Uh, the end result is what is referred to as an extraction economy. And so what we're trying to solve for systematically is creating a smart web for smart cities to equip smart people that want to see their local economies thrive and at the same time be able to engage. The, both the public sector and the private sector in, in, with unprecedented efficiency. And you're telling me that it's totally aligned with the new concept of smart cities because it's an open platform and you're inviting people to co-create, to, to bring new solutions to the platform, right? How, how, how does it work? I mean, I, I, my, my audience now is around the world and they, oh, they want to be part of this. Uh, what, what, what to do? Yeah, so a, a, a great question, Donato. So uh, Smart London, Smart Up London is launching June the 13th in London at London Tech Week. Uh, MMX is a co-sponsor of the Smart Up London initiative, uh, along with uh, London and Partners uh, who operate the Dot London uh, top level domain extension. And we're super excited to be introducing uh, uh, Smart London, uh, but also excited to introduce a developer toolkit that will allow uh, developers from around the world to be able to be able to begin to build their own applications that they can own sovereignly uh, that is connected uh, to this uh, smart web through the shared single sign-on. 
So individual developers don't have to worry about building trust uh, with the consumer in terms of getting them to share their credentials or to share their payment methods. Those aspects are governed by the smart web and the smart wallet. So the consumer is in control of who, who has their data, and the developer can just focus on what the unique value add is in this emerging sharing economy that we're so excited to be a part of. Fantastic. So, yeah, here the invitation come to join. I will be there as one of the speakers during this, uh, uh, it's the week of 12th of June to the 16th. And uh, so come to join London Tech Week and learn a little bit more about uh, Smart Up London. And yeah, thank you very much guys to be here with me. And thanks to teach me so many things that's completely new for me and, and love to learn. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Okay. You're fine.